Hey guys, so as it's Sunday, I have some time now to um, reflect on what it is that I do and I have a few people that I want to thank but um, people ask me all the time about who my inspirations are in dance and I probably couldn't name you choreographers because I, I probably don't see as much dance or go to shows as much and I couldn't sort of list off choreographers that I admire. However, um, a big shout out to Cindy Kleiss who was at the very beginning of my dance career and we, um, I, was, I joined the youth group at East London Dance and she was the one to push me and actually it sort of rolls on to the next person that I'm sort of wanting to um, big up and shout out to because she was the one who introduced me to Lazy Legs, uh, Luca Lazy Legs Patuelli who um, dances on his crutches and she sent me a video of him um, sort of doing amazing things on his crutches, b-boying, breaking and all of that jazz and I've been following him since um, a bit of a fangirl following him watching YouTube videos and trying to get inspiration and have been inspired by him and he's just amazing so it's big up Cindy for you know introducing dance hall in your life and um, Luca and Lazy Legs and Ill Abilities and they're actually celebrating their 10 year anniversary tonight tonight and their um, the time difference is that they're going to be celebrating tonight in a couple of hours here at seven o'clock it's five o'clock here now and um i just yeah and they're going to be celebrating with their big event um no excuses uh no limits you know and um i always wear these wristbands i don't know if you can see them so no limits no excuses and then um we all need a little bit of dance hall in their life and so these guys remind me every day, these bracelets remind me every day of these amazing people who have inspired me and who have influenced me in terms of my, my dance style and um, how, I, how I go about living in the dance industry and how I, you know, how I carry myself in the dance industry. And they are massive inspirations. So that's my reflection for this Sunday. And uh, yeah, uh, do follow me. I'm on Facebook, Laura D Dances, and I'm also on Instagram as at Laura D Dances. I'm on Twitter as X, it's all good, X. And I'm also on LinkedIn and YouTube and all that jazz. So if you type in my name, Laura Dahau, um, L-A-U-R-A-D-A-J-A-O, I'm sure you'll find me through Google and you'll find lots of stuff about me apparently. So um, yeah, do follow, keep in touch, tweet, retweet, share, tag a friend, all of that jazz and um, stay in touch. And I hope that, you know, this reaches people and, you know, to be inspired is to follow in the footsteps slash taking what is taking from someone what you feel is most appropriate for you and then being able to turn it into something that is good for you and that represents you well so i feel like cindy i've taken so much from you in terms of like i've learned so much over these past 10 years my on um so 10 years since i joined the youth company and i'm now a freelance inclusive dance artist and i owe it to people like Cindy Kless, to Charlene Lowe from Sardines Dance Collective and East London Dance, Kanduko, Stopgap, all these amazing inclusive companies that I've been able to work with. So inspiration comes in many forms from films, music and people. But for me, these companies, these inclusive companies that continue to break boundaries and make work that inspires people Lazy Legs and Ill Abilities doing their thing internationally is amazing. So fingers crossed, you know, I'd like to work with them someday and we'll see what happens. But, you know, we'll see. And uh, yeah, keep in touch. Peace. Have a good one. And um, yeah, get ready for the next week. Let's do this.